So good luck with those numbers and congratulations. And we're going to see another matchup here between these epic warriors. Man, oh, man. Michael, maybe you could tell us a little bit more about these runners while I get 49 ready to go here. Happy to. Happy to. So let, let's go back to Ricardo here because I'm in, I'm really intrigued by his D and D uh, <laughs> in solid, you know, dragon in solid works. I I, I play D and D as well, so I, I really enjoy D and D. Got got one uh, coming up on St. Patrick's Day. We have a bunch of friends coming over, so nice. great. Dom That's Dom, good. good great work though. Great yeah. work, Dom. I mean, I was really impressed to to see the speed and accuracy. So I can't wait to learn more about you though. He's sure. just in N D currently. He's gonna let everybody know he's in North Dakota. North Dakota. Heck yeah. All right, North That's Dakota. awesome, man. So here we go. This next CAD versus CAD battle featuring SolidWorks versus SolidWorks. Dom from the United States versus Ricardo, Ricardo Salato from Italy. This next CAD battle begins in three, two, one, go. What is the mass of this part in 0.xxx pounds? The tolerance for this part is plus or minus 0 0.002 pounds and this part is made from plastic part plastic part yep abs it's a tier five part both of our runners have grabbed the screen capture both of our runners have started coming up with a plan and ricardo is already sketching he said okay no more messing around look at this he's already got his first fully defined sketch there already turned it into a feature wow ricardo is done playing He said, I can't go back to my D&D &D group. <laughs> <laughs> if, I don't, if I don't take down at least one model, <laughs> I'll never be able to face them again. This is kind of a cool model. I got to admit, I, I really it like is. this one. It really is. Yeah, I was going through auditing this one, the way some of the dimensioning is, you know, on all these prints, the dimensioning is probably the most common uh, criticism that I hear is like, you know, those dimensions are not ANSI standard. They're not ISO standard, but it's like, you know, we only have one sheet to work with. It has to be, you know, legible through a YouTube screen grab. And so a lot of times I'll take allowances, uh, but it no, kind of- I, I like the look of your drawings, Toby. A, a drawing is a piece of art, right? And, and your drawings have a certain style, right? You know, you, the, the colors you use, the the, the line weights, the, the, the way it looks in the shaded view. It's just, it's a piece of art. Oh, well, thank you. That's very kind of you to say. Um, and it, uh, it, I think it also kind of, it, it furthers the whole like mission of this channel, which is to try to help engineers get better by, you know, gamifying the process. And what you should know is that you're going to face a lot of situations where somebody hands you a drawing that is not ISO standard or ANSI standard. There's going to be dimensions missing. There's going to be two dimensions that clearly conflict with one another. Like you're going to run into these situations. And so you're going to need to kind of have some practice, like have some practice looking around the drawing, try to figure out what's actually being asked for, what's important, what's not important. And sometimes you even just, you're better off just at least making something and giving that something to the customer and then coming back later and trying to figure out like, what did I miss? What went wrong? Yeah, drawings, I have a special place in my heart for drawings. They like when I first started in school and I took the drafting class in tech school, I I did not want to do CAD. We had AutoCAD in, in the room. We had AutoCAD version four. They were dual screen, one was text, one was graphics, but we had all those <laughs> drafting boards. And I just love wow. being on the drafting board. Making my lettering, using the drafting machine, yeah. you know, sharpening the pencil. You know, it was it, it, was, it, it felt it felt like a lot of fun, but CAD, CAD is much more productive. That's yeah. for sure. <laughs> the the the, um, uh, the electric eraser. Oh yeah, the electric eraser yep. with the eraser shield. You yep. know, I mean that the electric the eraser yeah. shield. Yeah, the scumbag, the uh, the talcum bag, whatever it was. Oh yeah, <laughs> we yeah, always yeah, throw yeah. that at exactly. each other in class. Alvin tape dots. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Let's go, scumbag yeah. battles. Todd Becker knows. <laughs> 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 you always have to throw those things around. All right, let's get back to the action here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we stroll down memory lane. Yeah. You know, we got the future right here. So yeah. let's let's take a look here. I mean, there's a number of ways you could have gone about building this particular model. So I commend you in in this model, Toby, because it, it several several ways you could build this. Yeah, I think as we get deeper into the tournament and we get higher up in the tier ranking, it's going to be more important for our runners to kind of understand the idea of 
you know, breaking up the challenge into multiple segments and kind of understanding like, okay, I need to do this part first. I need to do this part next. I need to do this part next. Cause otherwise, you know, you're going to try to bite off more than you can chew. And so, um, you know, whenever we're looking at a print, you kind of want to think of the, the model like that, break it up into discrete sections and kind of focus on each of those sections and then move on to the next. Yeah. Slide rule, by the way, Bo, to make boat pants, you know, I way before my time. So I'm not that old. <laughs> <laughs> I had a TI-85 calculator back in school. Well, I, I don't know where it is now, but if I needed one, I would use that. Last week, we had somebody on who said that uh, in one of their fun packs, I think it was last week, they said that like they still use the TI-83. It's like their favorite calculator. Oh, yeah. There was all this uh... love going out from the chat for that model. <laughs> <laughs> 92 AutoCAD 10, Chad Vice. Wow. Yeah. That was before they changed it to the blue interface, I think. Yeah. Wow. All right. So very interesting approach here from Dom using a, a fillet, uh, not using a fillet, but using yeah. a sketch to try to sketch out the fillet. Very, very yeah. interesting. Very safe. A very safe way of doing it. Yeah, you're not gonna let the uh -oh. system automation figure it out. You're gonna be damn sure uh -oh. that that fillet's going in the way you want. Michael, it. I, I, I hate to interrupt you, but I think that Ricardo may have no made, way. Ricardo's coming in. May have made the classic blunder in SolidWorks. I think he may have modeled an inch part in metric. I think that's what's happening here. I saw him look at his mass, and his mass said zero grams. I saw him look down at his. Uh, I looked down at his uh, status bar, and it says it said MMGS. So yeah, yeah, we might have a we might have a potential issue here. Well, it can be resolved. Be resolved. Let's see what he does. Sketch by sketch here. Just got to go through it. There, there could be more than one way to resolve it. I don't want to say how, but I just want to say there could be more than one way to resolve it, and. It's going to be up to Ricardo to, to figure out what that way is going to be. Wow. Yeah, it's been a, been a while since brutal. I've used SolidWorks, so I may not have used what you're talking about. Yeah, that is brutal. We're going to see if he can figure it out. Ricardo just says, gosh, in the chat. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, golly. Oh. Well, it's not over yet. I mean, you got to, you know, rack your brain, try to think of some different ways you might be able to resolve this. We're going to let him try to figure it out. Uh, and uh, yeah. there's... There's several ways of fixing it for a tournament like this. Not any way that I would do as a production company, mm -hmm. but <laughs> maybe some ways. Yeah, there are ways. There are ways. <laughs> okay. Interesting. Oh, wait, this Ooh, is, interesting. this is interesting. Okay, yeah. What Ricardo is doing here. This is, I would never in a million years thought I would see yeah, this. This is, it. this is very interesting. Yep. Crispy Co in the chat says, got it. And he came in right after Dom, who comes in with his first answer, 0 0.273. And that is correct. Wow. And wow, 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 Dom. Very nice. Very nice. And Ricardo, a very clever solution there to go through and to uh, multiply uh, all the dimensions, every dimension. That was a really, really clever way to resolve that issue. Man, we have all been there before. Uh, guys, put a one in the chat if you've ever drawn, excuse me, if you've ever drawn something in uh, millimeters thinking that it was inches, put a one in the oh. chat because I know that we have if, all if been I there. Had, I don't, I've run out of ones. Yeah. I've done that so many Yeah, times. put a one for every time that you've done that. <laughs> uh, yeah, definitely a brutal scenario.